And those responses are almost exactly <laughs> what we expected, except for just how cute Zeka was with his his response. I think Viper saying nothing and then getting up just is like the most like, Viper yeah. thing ever. It's just another day at the office. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, Viper, a man who has conquered a world championship, but has been looking for this LCD title for a long time since his return. Now they've got the champion's shirts on. We all know what that means. It's time, time on awards, sir. Exactly. And Kasajun going to be coming out. And he's going to help us award Hummel IP Sports with this incredible honor of being the first new LCK champion in a really long time. Because, of course, it's the first time that Hummel IP Sports have won it under this name, of course, took over the spot of the Rocks Tigers. Hummel Life, yes, they made it to Worlds. They made it to top eight at Worlds. Through the Worlds gauntlet, right? That wasn't even an opportunity to go very far in the playoffs that season. Yeah, but even last year, right? I think that they <laughs> were, <laughs> were, <laughs> we to to were able to. SK. Yeah. Gus Jun is going to be taking us through this one. We will be giving out the awards, of course. And we'll, we'll have a few uh, important people coming up to, to give out a lot of these awards as well, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. Yep. Kim Bong Sok is uh, the head of the domestic uh, business unit for the URI Bank. Of course, our biggest sponsor here in the LCK. We owe them so much. And what a, what a year it's been as well, right? Two back-to-back -back finals. Yeah, going to five, five games. gamers. Five, that's nutty. Three teams. That's an upgrade. I reckon. In a while, you know, yeah. we've had that. We've had two for a really long time. Um, although I guess there was that one. But so this is the head of the domestic business unit, as we mentioned. Uh, Rui Bank that loves the LCK. Uh, They've been supporting us for such an incredibly long time. It's, uh, it's also hard to put into words, but like, you go into the Uri Bank and there is, there is LCK stuff there. Uh, yeah. like, it's, it's, it's really heavily integrated. It's one of the many examples of uh, how Korea and uh, culture is just esports embedded in it everywhere. And it means a lot that uh, they're all coming here in Gyeongju to hand these awards SK out as well. He's saying, you know, that he's basically really happy that we have new history made uh, tonight. And Uri Bank is, of course, looking forward towards the future uh, of the LCK. And he thanks all the fans for their support. Definitely a good look uh, to be crowning a new champion as far as development of the league is concerned. That's exactly what Delight said, right? This is one of the capitals of history and culture here in Korea. And it's a pretty good place to create a, create a bit of that history. So congratulations <laughs> to Hanwa as he gets the fans involved here as well. Fans who have waited for so long. And uh, 200 million won. That's a lot. And I, do, I, like, I prefer to not do like the basic conversion because it always just looks so impressive. It there's looks so many dope. zeros. As, uh, as captain, you're not going to be receiving the ring now, but of course, all the players. I'm looking forward to champion. next year's intro. Let's just say that. I'm pretty psyched about that one. Yeah. And we saw the, the you know, documentary, the behind the scenes on making the championship ring as well. It was very cool to see from Gold yeah. And, uh, man, what a, what a story for I still can't believe it. I know. It's, 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 you, you don't get finals like this 
It's so every, even like every few years. Yeah. You no. Know? So and it's more insane to me is that I thought last finals was not going to be tops. And frankly, I think this tops is the fact that Hanwha is able to do it despite all of us thinking that even if it wasn't going to be a 3 0, it was going to be a one sided series. It's, it's kind of nutty as well because once you go into that and you're thinking about how incredible it is, you then remember that Orcs predicted Humble Life Esports. So we're going to be awarding the finals MVP with the mayor of Gyeongju. His name is Na Gyeongju. Here he is on stage. And this is, I, I think, for a lot of people, the most exciting part of post-finals. Who gets the MVP? And who do you guys think at home? Make sure that you're definitely spamming that one in Twitch chat. I think a lot of people are probably of the same mind. He's introducing himself, the mayor of Gyeongju. Tell you what, it's been a beautiful time here in uh, Gyeongju as well. We get spoiled with our road shows, to be perfectly honest, but Gyeongju is such a beautiful city. If you ever come to Korea, please come here. I mean, even the stage, right? The fact that it represents the bridge. Yep. Uh, such a beautiful way. The teaser that was shot there as well. Uh -huh. And the magical uh, astrology tower that I am not going to try to pronounce because I do butcher it. But it's very cute as a weeby friend. Exactly, exactly. And we can just you can just rewind on YouTube or something like that and get <laughs> Digon's beautiful re uh, rendition of uh, how to pronounce His it. His rendition? Yep. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, Chomsong Day. And that was actually pretty good. I kind of nailed it, yeah, right? It. Oh. Which, which rendition you like more, Wolf? Of the Chomsong Day? Yeah, Digon or Atlas? Uh, I'm going to have to go Atlas on this one. I mean, I'm kind of cheating. I've been here for an added many years. I've been in I you meant, like, lessons with you, Atlas. <laughs> I thought you meant some of the art that we have of it or like the really cute plushies. I was going to have to go with the plushies. Uh, Chomsung Day is actually, that's the actual thing. Yeah. And the plushies have a different name. Uh, so they're also really cute. But if you ever do come to Korea, huge, uh, uh, huge recommendation to come here. Uh, as it's Chomsung Yi. And I just want to also give a huge shout out, of course, to the city that we yeah. come here to, to have this finals for. It's been awesome. Everyone I've met here has been super friendly. And, uh, you know, it's been rad to have another really cool road show here in a different city. We're traveling and giving these players the opportunity to play on multiple stages for Worlds. And it's, it was what we used to do, right? But I feel like the pandemic really did add a lot of, uh, a lot of perspective to just how lucky we are to be able to experience these beautiful places and travel all, all around Korea for the LCK Finals as well. And man, he's holding on to the suspense here to see who is going to get the MVP. I think there's a few options. He's now asking us. Yes, we would like to know. <laughs> He's really hopeful we'll have more big events like this in Gyeongju in the future. I think that's uh, that's also, everyone here as well, um, agreeing with him on that one. Yeah, and also that everyone gets home safely, of course, who came to visit. But... We still have one question, indeed. <laughs> We've been asking it for some time. Wait. Oh. Five million won prize as well on top of the prize money here for the finals for the MVP. And these cards and he's are really reveal big. It. Oh. But he's also going to ham it up and it's going to take a little while and oh. he's going to pass the crowd. Oh. Who is it going to be? Oh, the camera guy knows. Does the camera guy? Wait, no, the camera guy doesn't know. <laughs> that was very dramatic, Atlas. It's a pretty split vote in the crowd. I don't know. I like. I, no, these guys. His are parents the are here. Oh, that's his mom. Yeah, his mom's Zaka. really close to us right now. So yeah, I think I think we know where the bias is coming from. The MVP? MVP is? It's Zaka that picks it up, and of course he does. I feel like we were kind of hamming it up a little bit, but this guy has been such an incredible player for Hummer Life Esports, and to be able to not only be 
such a strong carry in this series, but taking into account his opposition makes it even more massive. Plus, he grew up just basically a suburb across from Gyeongju here, so it means so much to be able to win so, so close to home. And to be able to do it against the LCK MVP and Jovi, and to be right. able to do it as that fifth mid, you know, we always have our four mids that go to the LCK finals, he becomes the fifth in so long. To do it against Chovy, to have such a big growth this year, it's just so well deserved. It's one of the easiest MVP votes I've ever given here in the LCK, to be honest. Yeah, don't, don't think this one is going to be controversial. There's some yeah, I don't think so. votes. I think like to which we still it's, argue it's about. Peanut, this very day. It's Peanut that could have been like a pseudo argument. Oh no, I, I think we can make a great case for Peanut. But I don't think anyone's going to be mad. No. As, as you point out, Wolf, I don't think there was any gap that was perceived to be as big. As good as Zeka has been, again, as the gap between Chovy and Zeka. So the fact that he was able to have basically an, an incredible performance in every game is mind-boggling. And now it is time to throw it back to Dia for the MVP. <laughs> Let's hear from Zeka. And if your teammate can hold on to your necklace while you do the interview, you know, right next to your home, Pohan, you get to win the title. How do you feel? You know, I didn't realize that I was going to get the finals MVP. But I feel like everyone has done so well today, and that's why I was able to receive this award. And throughout all of our hard work, all the rough patches that we went through, I think this is the moment that we can celebrate together. And so grateful. Of course. This necklace belongs to you, but do you think you might actually let someone else wear it? You know, I have a really nice neck, so I think I would look really good with this necklace. We look forward to an even amazing performance at Worlds. Please give it up to your... Finals MVP, Zeka. Looks like the only the Finals MVP will receive the Golden Dew Necklace. The next up will be the Trophy Ceremony. Thank you so much, dear, for the translation. Feels like Zeka is completely overwhelmed. And we can actually see his parents just to our left here, uh, right next to the caster desk. And they are also kind of losing their minds. It's... Uh, an unprecedented result and such an incredibly wholesome moment as now we're going to get Amalife Esports lifting this trophy once again. And as Zeka said, quite a few hours ago now, he's got the forearms for it, gentlemen. Yeah. He is ready and prepared. I mean, a lot of people enjoy the MVP announcement the most post-finals, but I'm going to be honest with you guys. This is my favorite moment. Yeah. This is the moment where the players, the coaches, some of the org members come out and celebrate together a tough season, a long year, and the, the realization that you're on top of this incredibly complex and high level yeah. League of Legends tournament. And you're our first seed going to Worlds in summer. It means so much. And so many ups and downs for this team as well. But I feel like all year long we were waiting for this, right? The realization of the potential of this squad. And Hummel Life Esports, this is the right time to figure it out. 
It's, it's probably on center for someone, Chronicler. That's what you have to realize. Maybe not for us, but it's on center for someone. Don't make me feel bad about it. Yeah, Chronicle, like, come on. It's all about perspective. <laughs> okay, but like, literally it is. We're looking out of a lens. Yes. All right. Man, what a year for Hanwha. Finally able to lift a trophy. We get a new champion, and it's been so long. I think this is something fans have been waiting for for so long. Whether you're a fan of T1, Genji, or Hanwha Life are defending and now current champions here. What about I the Griffin fans as well? Finally, you know, getting another trophy for another Griffin boy. And, and you know that the Rocks fans out there. Oh, yeah. They, they are there. I don't know how many tissues they've gone through, but uh, people I got need, teary I need there to be, made it. I need the there finals. to be a re-replay episode that has Prey just experiencing what it is to see and this organization, you know, my, my at least their part, success of find the victory. My favorite part is the video that plays at the end of every LCK season. And now it's time for that. So thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next season. さあ、ジェイドケソンも、あ、チリキシゴゲシグヨ。じゃ、ちょまんエンディングアメンでげすみら。じゃ、ウリオネンゴアンピアナン、イーゴンゲサエスケイスタモスプリット、フレンドファイ